Building sub 250 gram 5 inch FPV drones is a goal that has been attempted by many enthusiasts, but their performance and handling often fall short of expectations, leading to a bad reputation. In this video, we will conduct extensive testing on five T mount propellers from different manufacturers, paired with two popular motors. We will then use this data to conduct deep dive analysis and explore what works, what doesn't, and theorycraft potential builds and compare them against each other. Join us as we delve into the possibilities and challenges of building sub 250 gram 5 inch FPV drones and explore whether they can truly deliver on their promises or if their infamous reputation is justified. Recursion Labs For Science this testing is conducted on my fully automated, variable controlled motor testing methodology. This test is conducted at a regulated 16 volts to emulate a 4S battery. The 5 inch and 5.1 inch propellers used in this test are HQ Prop 3 blade 2 inch pitch propeller, Gemfan Hurricane 3 blade 2.5 inch pitch propeller, Gemfan Superlight 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller, Gemfan Long Range 2 blade 2.6 inch pitch propeller, HQ Prop 2 blade 3 inch pitch propeller. These propellers will be tested on the following motors. T motor F2004 3000 kV motor tested an actual 3005 kV Magad Aerolite 2004 2400 kV motor tested at an actual 2432 kV these motors and propellers will be compared against the 3.5 inch performance and efficiency leader the T motor F1404 3800 kV motor alongside an HQ prop 3 blade 2.5 inch pitch propeller now for the weigh in for the two blade propellers the HQ prop is the lightest by almost 0.3 grams or almost 1.2 grams for four. For three blades, the HQ prop weighs less than the two blade gem fan, where the other gem fan three blades are both 16 and 25% heavier than the HQ prop. All the gem fan props are 0.1 inches longer, so that does add a bit of weight. They also have a thick, heavy hub, which may also add to their overall weight. For the motors, we have the large T motor coming in at 16.5 grams each, where the oh my god is 0.726 grams lighter, or almost three grams for all four motors. Comparing to the 1404, the oh my god is 74.3% heavier, adding nearly 27 grams of motor weight. Upon closer inspection of these motors, both look well made and include arc magnet designs. If I had to guess, I'd say the Umagad motors are manufactured by RCM Power, which does seem to be more refined, with cleaner and thicker windings. One big difference I notice is that the T motor has thicker magnets, which should affect performance. Only having two screw holes does concern me slightly, but it does help cut down weight. To get a good comparison between propellers, let's start our analysis with a lower KV Aerolite motor, and see if we will say, oh my god, when we look at thrust. Not surprising, the most aggressive three blade gem fan prop here in purple produces the most thrust across the throttle range. The two blade gem fan shown here in orange seems to be in second place, beating out the other three blades for thrust, with the two blade HQ prop coming in close behind. The three blade HQ prop in grey doesn't have as much thrust as I thought it would, staying tied with the 3.5 inch propeller in blue until after 35% throttle. Switching to efficiency, we can see that the 5 inch propellers are more efficient than the 3.5 5 inch counterpart at the bottom in blue. The super light in purple seems to be the most interesting three blade as it has a nice efficiency curve from start to finish, where the HQ prop three blade in gray has poor efficiency at the start of the throttle, but then moves to the top later on. The two blade HQ prop in green seems to have the best efficiency across the board, with the gem fan two blade in orange only slightly beating it out at the start of the throttle, and then dipping below at about 40% throttle. Now for the most useful chart, grams of thrust to watts of power. From this perspective, all the propellers seem to be quite close for a top thrust, with the two blade HQ prop in green standing out as being the most efficient while producing a lot of thrust. And hence, looking at the first 300 grams of thrust, the only clearly odd one is a 3.5 inch propeller in blue. The two blade HQ prop is still performing well at less thrust, with the only competition being the gem fan two blade, like we previously saw on the lower throttle range of the efficiency charts. The three blade propellers have been disappointing so far, and I doubt that will change when we throw in the higher KVT motor, which should produce more thrust. Yeah. Yep. First, let's remove the 3.5 inch propeller. The first thing we notice is that all the graphs for all the propellers for both motors are actually fairly similar in their ordering and spacing, for the most part, with the exception of the super light and yellow, which seems to be super struggling a bit. The dip of thrust at the end, starting at 90%, is the tests actually hitting the current limit of my power supply at 32 amps, which is ridiculous. The two blade gem fan seems to be doing very well here, especially at the lower throttle alongside of the two blade HQ prop, which does a bit better at higher 
higher throttle. The three blades, once again, are not pulling their weight, or blowing their weight, I guess. Switching to efficiency, the 32 amp pulling gem fan super light is super inefficient on this motor. Let's clear up some of this unicorn barf and remove all but the five inch two blades. Much better. The two graphs almost mirror one another, except the T motor with the higher KV is less efficient, which isn't a surprise given it produces more thrust. The HQ prop on the T motor seems to have less of an efficiency gap at the lower throttle range compared to what it had on the Umagad motor, which is interesting. Once again, let's switch to the thrust produced to watts of power. Let's eliminate both the three blade super lights as well as the three blade hurricane. Ignoring efficiency, looking at this graph, you might think that the higher KVT motor is a winner because it has more thrust, but it also requires more power. Pairing a high performance battery, the maximum expected watt output, I've come up with a rough target of how many milliamp hours a battery would need per watt from the sum of all cells, which is about nine. Overlaying this with a chart, you can see that the lower KV motor can get away with 550 to 650 milliamp hours, where the higher KV motor would require 850 to almost 1,100 milliamp hours, which would add a lot of weight. Let's eliminate all but the two blade HQ prop, which is leading for overall thrust and efficiency. And quite frankly, three blades don't seem to make sense on this stator size. What is surprising here is that they actually look quite close, where I'd expect the higher KV motor to be noticeably less efficient. Enhanced. Even looking at the first 600 grams of thrust, the lower KV motor does appear to be a little more efficient some of the time, but overall, it's not far off, which again is very surprising. If this is the case, why not just add a motor throttle limit in beta flight and choose whichever top thrust you want on the T motor? Maybe the thicker magnets of the T motor are making up for any efficiency loss we would see otherwise. Looking at the time it takes for the motors to spin up from idle to 85% throttle, the higher KV in orange does seem to have some delay getting to the target throttle. If we correlate the RPM to thrust, the delay is just as noticeable, albeit for more thrust. I wasn't satisfied by this analysis, and since the propellers were the same, I captured the points where both motors spin up at nearly the same RPM and charted that spin up time. This is a better view. And we can see the extra delay the higher KVT motor has to reach a close RPM. So there is a trade off. With the ideal propeller and power requirements, let's theory craft some potential builds. To baseline, we can put the numbers for the low weight 3.5 inch scythe build I've made videos on to compare with. We'll keep the same battery size and internal component weight to keep things fair. Let's use the advertised weight of the Umagad 250 frame, which is 51 grams. We'll use the Umagad motors and the two blade HQ prop inputting the corresponding weights. This gives us an all up weight of 213 grams, which is 37.4% heavier than the scythe and a maximum thrust of 2.6 kilograms for all motors. This gives us a similar maximum wattage to the 3.5 inch with a slightly higher thrust weight ratio of 12.3 to one. With this information, we can go back to the thrust chart and normalize the five inch data based on the weight differential to directly compare the two based on the equivalent thrust to weight across the throttle range. It appears that the maximum thrust to weight we calculated is a bit deceiving since the five inch build only beats out for normalized thrust at the absolute top of the throttle range where the 3.5 inch build would have a higher thrust weight ratio everywhere else. Taking the efficiency chart and then normalizing the data, we can see the efficiency is a bit of a trade off where at the lower throttle, the 3.5 inch build wins. But in the top throttle where the thrust has improved, the five inch build wins. This five inch build should be great, but the 3.5 inch would probably fly better. I think we can do better. Let's take the same data, but swap out the frame with the lightest I can find, which is the Hyperlite UL5 at 30.5 grams, which doesn't have the proper holes for our components, but let's pretend it could. This change lowers the all up weight to around 193 grams and increases the maximum thrust weight ratio to a whopping 13.6 to one. If we go back to the thrust chart and then normalize it with the new weight, we can see at the low end it starts to close the gap with the 3.5 inch scythe build and has almost 68 grams of normalized thrust per motor extra at the top end. Switching back to efficiency and then normalizing it to the new build, we can now see that the efficiency is clearly better on this build, which means that the flight time should be noticeably longer on the five inch build over the 3.5 inch build. Interesting. I tried to craft a T-motor build, but couldn't get the weight under 250 grams with the battery would require. I think this shows that sub 250 gram five inch builds should be viable, but only if you pick the correct motor and propeller combinations, such as two blade props. Does it make more sense than a light 3.5 inch build, taking the size and durability downsides into account? Let me know your opinion in the comments. And please share this video with anyone who might find it useful that is considering a sub 250 gram five inch build so they hopefully avoid some poor life choices when choosing components. More to come.